Good morning, kids. It's me, Arthur. Okay. I like the fact that YouTube is evolving. I like the fact they're moving forward. I don't like the fact that their protocol for grabbing videos has changed. But I looked on bitbucket.org, where they make YouTube DL, and they've updated, I don't know if you can see this, 2010, 04, 04, it's freaking today. Okay, so you download this file. So I'm going to go, uh, huh, just click on it. Bam, save file. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Alright, let's get rid of that for a second. We don't need that. Put on screen too. Okay. So, what we do is, let me put our fingers today. Okay, so we right click the file, file, file. <laughs> change it so that it allows executing. Bam! Now it's executable. So what do we do now? We type in dot slash YouTube DL. Just like that. For those who can see it. <laughs> and then we find our thing here again. Here we go. I'm going to grab the link location to my last video. Copy the link location. And just like before, format 18, the default MPEG-4, the location of the video, and it begins to download. Pretty ready. Eh? So a little slower than it usually is. I guess it's because I'm running my screen capture. I guess it's taking up a little bit of juice. As you can see, my my juice indicator is 60, 52 percent. I don't know. My juice indicator. But there it goes, it's downloading the video. Yes. Um, you could also, if one was so inclined, install it onto their system by simply copying YouTube DL, after you change the permission, that is, uh, as executable, to your user slash bin folder, which I will present the code how to do that there. <laughs> I, I looked it up. The one inside of Ubuntu has been updated since 2008, which there hasn't been that many, many updates since 2008. So, um, this one updated today. Go ahead, grab it if you want to use that program. Peace!